Hello, beautiful people of the internet. My name is Ryan. Welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. This is episode 129, and we are just outside of a gloomy ascent, which is making my brain do run a million miles a minute. A gloomy ascent. What could it mean? What could it be? What does it mean? Am I gloomy? Is the ascent gloomy? It's describing the ascent, but is it about to make me is it about to make me gloomy? I don't know. I'm nervous. Uh, we're here underneath Kazador Czar's palace, uh, and we've just had, uh, Carlax doing some dancing. We just had a moment with, uh, a skull up in a little private area that Kazador Czar had made. So, I think we're about to go forward. I'm gonna chat with the, uh, people in my party first, because I want to know what they have to say. This is all so grand. To think, it was just sitting here, lurking under the floor. You really had no idea this was here? I think we asked this last time, but... Uh, of course not. It's not like he boasted about his secret lift. But it does make sense. He'd want somewhere... grand for his ascension. This... Seems perfect. Whatever is about to happen. Now we just need to see what lies at the heart of this place. Whatever is about to happen, I'm excited to meet Kazador. Because we have not met Kazador, and I'm sure after all of this buildup that Kazador is going to be an incredible character. A vampire nest. You truly can find everything <laughs> in the city. I'd better keep my throat protected. Uh Please let me, no, please let me have a, uh, a super sexy line about keep your throat protected for now, but I'll see to it later or something. I don't, come on. Oops, wrong button. Come on. What is it about this place? I know we shouldn't let down our guard, but I feel like I could drift off and never wake up. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Um, don't do that. Okay. Are we good on... We've got all of our correct stuff on. Our HP is pretty decent. Uh, I mean, I think we'll be fine. We don't have any short rests. So our... Our spell slots are a little bad. So Let's do this. Let's fucking do this. Maybe it's not right behind this door. time oh no this is so funny strange door maybe <laughs> wait this isn't the right area I thought this I was making <laughs> oh I was making such a big deal out of this doorway that's not the right spot wait so where am I supposed to go Because I didn't think this door I could go th this door right here I could go through the thing. That's so funny. What a letdown to die. walk through that door. And through. <laughs> and then to find the place we've already been at once before. Okay, so I mean, there's the things above us. I'm also hearing. Okay, I'm hearing things over there too. So I guess I need to. Find a way over or something. Um, this is interesting. I have no clue what I'm doing. We dropped down right here. People that way. How do we get there though, right? This, is this a doorway? Like, this is not. We probably need to go back up. But I, I thought on the level above us, there was a... 
Oh man, I got myself all worked up and there was really nothing to do with that door, huh? Uh Okay, I mean let's let's ride the lift up. You okay, alright, alright, come on over, come on over. It must be on the second floor then. We saw on the second floor a bunch of doors that were closed, but um Uh, like, doors that were, like, warded, I should say. Um. Okay, you get on. Will others follow? Come on, come on, come on. All right, we have at least a couple of you. We can get you up separately. Come on, come on, come on, come on, Asterian. No, oh, Asterian. All right. There's no time to waste. Pick them up, one at a time. Soldier. Get up! Oh, you missed it. Okay, that's fine. One at a time. We'll go slow. Let's get on with it. Trust no one. I'm ready. No, hmm? oh, go. Oh, I clicked with I clicked with Shadowheart first, but I guess it didn't have enough time to go through or something. Never a dull moment. Let me shy. It's kind of cool that we have to ride the elevator up. It's just hilarious. I th I was literally prepared to walk through the door, meet Kazador for the first What's time, the and have a fight. So it is really funny to not have <laughs> to not have that be the start of the episode. Come on, let's go. Go, 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 per. Not perfect. Harlack is uh, freaking out a little bit. All right. Almost there. Unless I missed something. I... It's possible I missed something in general. With the uh, interesting times. With the last, I'm gonna quick save before anybody does anything. Carlax in the middle of a long jump there. Need um, to find a way forward. These have this entombing claw, impassable to anyone without the correct ring of passage. Oh wait, does our signet ring let us through these? Wait, am I dumb? Don't answer that. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no keyhole, but does have an indentation for a signet ring. Press the czar signet ring to the hollow in the door. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you mm. with pungent, musty air. Just open the door, Ryan. All right. Okay. So, and this is here. So, go through this. Just like the door to the ballroom upstairs, this door features no key. Press the on. ring in does have an indentation for a signet ring. The ring slots perfectly into place, and the door opens, assailing you with pungent, musty air. Interesting. I feel like I've heard that somewhere before. Okay. So something's going on here. Who are these people? Banja, Misha... My father will come soon. My father, Chessa, you are eternally bound. Kazador will not let this spawn die. It is immune to all damage. Wow. Vampire regeneration, sunlight super sensitivity. So, what do we do when that tall freak comes back? All freak? He opens the door, I get his legs, you get his arms, and Cas goes for the eyes. Yeah. We'll be out of here in no time. Tall freak. Are you sure he's coming back. 
the others look like they've been down here a long time. Of course he'll come back. He's got to. Right? Okay. What are the adults doing? Thing. Nothing? Approaching the cells, you're met with hollow-eyed faces. There's an almost physical stink of decay and neglect. Mysterian, do you know who these prisoners are? I don't even know what this prison is. He hid all of this from me. And the others. If I had to guess, I'd say they're part of his ritual. That where in the hells do they come from? You. I know you. Oh, You're your face is the tavern. scary. You smiled and joked and got me drunk. You. No. You're dead. You called me so many sweet things. Oh. My I'm name chill. sounded like a Bad. lyric on your tongue. Oh. Sebastian. You remember me. You were handsome. Shy. You'd never been kissed. You taught me how. And then you destroyed me. It can't be. Failed a perception check. Shit. Who is he? It's not just him. I know so many of these faces. They're my... conquests. I pursued them. Seduced them. And brought them to Cazador. He told us he was feeding on them. But he turned them to spawn. He turned every last one so we'd have souls for this cursed ritual. How long? What? This person's face is so scary to me. So creepy. Oh. How long have I been down here? And the voice, too. This is a fucking minefield, dude. I have no idea how to coach or help a Starian, by the way. I should say a Starian, because I think that's how the game says it. A Starian. Uh, I have no idea how to help a Starian through this. I kind of want to know. And I have no idea if I can promise anything. So I, I'm just going to let a Starian answer. 170 years. Fuck. You were one of my first. My family. My friends. <laughs> They're gone. You took them from me. You took everything from me. Oh, that's so sad. It's a sad. It's sad for the person, and it's sad for Astarian to see this, and to and to know the truth of the people that Astarian's conquests. Um, what do we? Is setting you free a kindness? Probably. We'll set you free. I have no idea. That's my gut instinct in this situation, but I don't know if it's the right one. And that one. Fuck. Oh, I'm gonna use an inspiration. I'm gonna do it. We have to try here. And here's why. We need a Starian to have a future where a Starian has also done some good. And maybe this person or these people could be a start of that. I don't know. Otherwise, a Starian's gonna have a Oh, the weight of so much badness over his head. 
free. We'll never be free while that monster lives. That's why we're here. To destroy Kazador. <laughs> you can't. It's not possible. Oh, buddy. We'll find a way. Um, where's the key to your cell? His staff. His staff. It controls everything. Okay, so we can't knock his body off but of castle. he never sets it down. You'll never get it. Pull it from his dead body. We'll find a way. Where is he now? The Grand Chamber. Just ahead. But even if you can kill him. Oh my god. What then? <sighs> what happens to us? I have no idea. How does this work? Uh... What would you like to happen? I don't know. I, I just don't want to die. The nightmare. Whatever you do, just do it quickly. Oh. I can't go and wait. We'll First be off, back. You waited. You have my word. Astarian says you you have my word. Also, you've waited for 170 years. You can wait at least a second longer. I love the uh, the red bowstring on this bow that I'm using now so good uh okay God's above he kept Sebastian I feel ill all the fools and villains who ever fell for my ploys they're, they're here oh we're in the oh this is this is terrible <laughs> and I'm laughing because it's really incredible incredible how terrible it is imagine 170 years worth of work for a person you hate except the work you've done for those 170 years wasn't all that great in the first place and you found whatever piece you could make with that not great work where you maybe did some things or did lots of things you hated or weren't proud of and then to find out that 170 years worth of work was way worse than you thought did Sebastian hurt you in some way I is Sebastian in any you said a line which I'm gonna hold on to for a second all the fools and villains who ever fell for my ploys was Sebastian a fool or a villain he didn't do anything at all. I can't say the same of all my victims. There's only one reason they'd all still be here. He must need them for the ritual. Each of the seven, we, we must have brought in a thousand over the decades. They're all lambs for his slaughter. Yeah. And if I was to take his place, they'd all die by my hand. <gasps> so you won't? You won't take his place now? Everyone, whoever trusted me enough to let down their guard, innocents, idiots, <laughs> and the unlucky. It doesn't matter. I will need to sacrifice them all if I want to perform the ritual. You've always wanted power, Astarian. Now that it's a, in front of you, assuming we can beat Kazador, you take it I think it is really smart of the game and the writing of the game the writers of the game to show us that it's fools and villains innocents idiots and the unlucky I'm gonna be thinking about that for a while innocents idiots and the unlucky it's not one emotional flavor it's a lot of emotional flavors there were the innocents which sucks there were the idiots which is also not good. But fools and villains. I'm not exact here's the other part of it that I'm gonna say really quickly and then I'll and then I'll keep going with dialogue options. I'm not exactly sure what the trolley problem is that we're doing here. Like I don't know the math, right? I think 
this thing is I think this thing is like Hazador sacrifices 7,000 souls, 7,000 people who have been kept alive in cages, maybe and potentially also his uh, his people like Astari and the other spawn for greater power, basically godhood, something like that um but then what is the alternative? Is the alternative Astarian just takes his place and we do the same thing? Is the alternative for Astarian, if we don't take his place, then then what? Is Astar I don't remember. Is Astarian able to live? Is Astarian able to walk in sunlight? Probably not, right? I don't know. You can save them. <laughs> What's the point? They're as good as dead. I thought they were dead. They don't look very dead. If they are unleashed, they will cause incredible carnage. They will be ravenous. They must die. Better they serve a purpose. Am I about to get a, a chance to roll? Oh, I thought for sure this right here was going to be the make a persuasion check, Marcus. Better they serve a purpose. Is that true? Oh, every one of these lines is a killer. My stomach is upset. I am loving how much I hate how this makes me feel. There's still hope for them. You got out. You got better. Put yourself in the shoes of, of them. This isn't you to kill these people. In the moment they die, they'll hate you as much as they hate him. You will never forget that. This line is so twisted to me. It's don't kill them for your sake. Don't you feel for them is a little like, oh, I don't know. It's, it's interesting. Perhaps there isn't a point. I don't know what that means exactly. Perhaps they're... I don't know. Oh, I'm stressed. Oh, he's not wrong about... I mean, I have to assume he's not wrong about the incredible carnage. What's better here? Oh, this is a nightmare. <laughs> this is a nightmare! <laughs> The funny thing about line three is that it kind of, to me, is a Starian as a character. Maybe not, but it's like, to me, of all the ways a Starian might, I'm trying to say a Starian, I'm really trying. Of all the ways a Starian might be hurt by this, that's one of them. Hmm. I'm going to go with it. In the moment they die, they'll hate you as much as they hate him, and you'll never forget that. I know they will. I know I won't. Oh. Hills! Fuck. This is a nightmare. This is a nightmare. What about the children, Astarian? Can't speak of them. Well, you clearly want to say something. <laughs> you think the children from Almost Tribe are still alive? Because we promised we'd look. Alive? <laughs> no. But animated? Yes. I'm sure they are. If Cazador turned the victims we brought him to spawn, he'd have done the same to the children. With glee, I imagine. But let's not forget why we're here. Cazador needs to die. Everything else comes second. Okay, I'm trying to understand. I'm trying to understand. They're humanoids. They're humans. 
Oh, Jesus Christ. Here we go. Here we go. I have... Oh, God. Those are soul... Oh, those are bodies. Oh, my God. This is so cool. Oh, my God. That is terrifying to look at. Platforms here. What's the what's the deal with this room? There's platforms that come off. Other places. There's platforms like over here. And there's a rune here. And a casket, of course. Oh my god, this is so cool. Marky Mark and the tadpoles. Away we go. God, this is a nightmare. And yet, we have to do it. Is that Kazador? Kazador Czar. Oh, and people. Aurelia. Leon. Pale Petrus. Valeria. Kazador motherfucking czar. God, that is a fancy outfit. Level 12 vampire. Undead. Vampire lord. Look at this staff. Oh my god. Look at this end of the staff. Holy cow. Look at those boots. Oh my god. Alert. Arcane enchantment. Arcane vampirism. When the affected creatures affected by your spell fail any associated saving throw, you regain hit points. Proved extra attack. Sunlight hypersensitivity. Vampire regeneration. 20 points at the start of its turn if it isn't in sunlight. Or has taken radiant damage or damage from holy water, in which case this trait doesn't function until the start of its next turn. I hope we got a lot of holy water. Uh, necrotic resistance. Resistance to everything else. Oh my god. Physical damage, that is. Fallen Gur Hunter. Chatter Teeth. What a name. Oh, that's cool. I'm getting the scope I can of the battlefield before we do anything. We're going to have to do it eventually. Bludgeoning Vulnerability. I think we'll keep talkative. What does that mean? Despite its lack of lips, this character, character can cast spells using verbal components. That's such a funny uh, passive feature. Okay. Here's why we did that. Go ahead and put on uh, this for bludgeoning damage. Because you're going to have to take care of Chatter Teeth. Do you think these guys are going to be a part of the fight? Predator, Werewolf. My god. This is so fucked. <laughs> okay. I have chills. Who stands before us? Is this truly our prodigal son? Here we go. Do not slouch before me, boy. Oh. Have you no respect for yourself? This voicing, Look voice acting is you. good. Crawling back after abandoning your family, you should be begging our forgiveness. Oh. I am going to keep back for one second. Do not intervene. Keep back. Forgiveness. You've never forgiven anything. Every mistake, every slip was punished. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect oh, as what you. What a line. A pity you amounted to so little, despite my efforts. No. <sighs> no. It's so abusive. Fuck you. And fuck everything you've ever done to me. Mm. <sighs> it 
It's so abusive. It's so fucked. It's also, this line is very poetic. I strove for perfection in all things, even those as imperfect as you. It's the perfect versus imperfect. Calling him a thing. Things as imperfect as you. Ugh. Okay. Uh... We're here for justice. Do I say nothing again? I kind of like this supportive saying nothing. That's how I'm envisioning it, whether or not it's actually playing out that way. They told me you had say changed. Nothing. I dared not believe it. Oh, thankless child. Did I not bless you with our immortal gift? Did I not make you what you are? I should have maybe stepped you in. Son of a bitch. Oh. You truly forgot my power. Oh my you god. You truly thought our bond as creator and creation was all that stopped you from killing me? The rune around the fist? Oh, you are weak, my child. You are a small, pathetic little boy who never amounted to anything. Oh my god. <laughs> But oh, today, the light. you will finally do something worthwhile. You will burn, and I will ascend. Let's get fucking to it. Oh. Astarian. Woo! I hate that. No. Stop him. Get me out of this. Witness the birth. Of the Vampire Ascendant! Ecce Dominus! Fight on if you must! Let's do it! Uh, fight on if you must, but I am only growing stronger. Your turn first. Blight on Marcus Everystar. It could kill me if you hit me with that. No, I wouldn't kill me, right? I counterspell this early? Jesus Christ, we're right into it. Here's my question. Astarian is a ritual component. I'm doing it. Counterspell. Misty escape. Where to? You're gaseous forming a little bit. You're on the first thing. What does that mean? Okay. Holy shit. So, Astarian is where? The far one? Oh my god, this is so dope. Ritual component. Incapacitated as part of a profane ritual. Until helped. Meaning we need, what kind of combat is this gonna be? This is the moment where we find out. Incapacitated is gonna mean nothing, right? That means basically nothing. I need to rush there. But to get there, do I dimension door? I'm, ooh, do I misty step? I'm kind of thinking I misty step. Cause that gets us one extra person on the fight. Sarcophagus. What is uh, Hazador currently doing? Ritual drain. Movement increases by seven meters because of seven ritual sources. You receive 70 temporary hit points. Your attacks and spells deal an additional seven to 70 necrotic dam damage after draining a vampire's bond's life force. So you're going to kill uh, Leon this turn, basically. Um, okay. Well, Leon, I think you were probably dead about no matter what. Um, so I think that's it. Uh, what does sacrificial lamb mean as a status? Can't move or take actions, bonus actions, reactions. Hazardor draws powers from all the spawns bound this way three times. He will ascend. So you're saying I have like 18 turns? Six times three? Don't include a star. Uh... 
Okay. Can I get there? Is Misty Step a bonus action? It is. So can I, hypothetically... Get to here? And Misty Step... Oh, I'm going to be just too far. Is it worth it then to use a speed potion? Oh, I'm, this is uh, this is really fun. Extra action plus two, double your movement speed. for three turns action okay so an extra action would allow me to action dash this will be my bonus action can i still oh i don't know that that works either because i still don't know if i can cast misty step as an action dimension door is an action though let's try it Okay, I've got two actions. Target is you. Teleport here. Action one. Action two. No longer a ritual component. Well played, I still have enough power. And what's more is that we have two very fragile people right in the... Uh, right in the danger zone now. That sucks. I'm going to get away from the edge I'm most concerned about getting knocked off the edge, honestly. Oh, I still have a ton of movement. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Cut and run. So, I think our goal here is going to be to kill these people. That sucks, but I think that might be the best move. Disadvantage because of threaten. I can break that just by coming back. These bats are too, are weak. Miss. Critical hit for three. Am I still threatened? This is crazy, but I'm going to try and kill one of these because they're the source of Kazador's power. And it's kind of like Asterion said, the power is everything at this point. I'm going to use a flourish to kill a bat. Uh, I knocked it out, which is funny. I didn't actually kill it. Uh, okay. Now we have Shadowheart's turn. And then it'll be a bunch of fucking people. Shadowheart, you need to do some radiant damage. Do you, or do you need to... The 10 HP is fine. We're basically going to ignore Kazador for now, I think. Uh, so it might be this one that we need to knock out. Chatterteeth. Who we know is uh, vulnerable to bludgeoning. Um... It has, like, advantage against Turn Undead as well. I think a Guardian of Faith, like, up in here would be really cool. Move forward, because that's what you're going to have to do no matter what. Guardian of Faith can't get there. Um, what makes the most sense here? A plain old fireball here? I can't even hit it. Plain old fireball here? God, this is going to be bad. I can't bless people. I can't reach anything here. <laughs> I'm just like, I have no idea what to do with her turn. 
Uh, I could bonus action her in here and then cast Spirit Guardians, which could be interesting. Um, that would get us a lot of damage going. Let's do Moonbeam. Moonbeam could be fun. Having it to cast later, I think, makes a lot of sense. We're going to cast Moonbeam here. Okay. Moonbeam for concentration for as long as it lasts. And that's my turn. All right. Marcus is going to be dead so quickly. He's 47 HP in the middle of all of these people. Uh, claws on a Asterion. It's just damage. No, it's not just damage. This is the one that also paralyzes. Um... They rolled a 19. Shield raises by five. I will use a shield reaction. Just this ghastly fume. Nauseates all creatures around it, but what is nausea? Can't take actions? I would have been lovely to know that before I went up and got in the shit. That's terrible. Okay, I'm nervous, man. I think we might die here. Did I quick save at the start of this fight? Time. I've got it. Get up here. Um, God, now I feel like if these guys are going to keep me from taking actions, then I need to kill these. Motherfucker. I'm gonna rage. My target is shifting, and my, my priority list in terms of things to kill are like. <laughs> Kazador is at the bottom of a very long list, which really sucks. Okay, hit you a little bit. I don't know that I can do range here. This is gonna be really rough. This is going to be a rough turn. A rough fight, a rough combat. Five werewolves go, four werewolves go. They dashing, jump. Pick some moonbeam damage, claws. They roll a 27. They get a bonus of 10 though. Okay. All right. Oh, buddy, this is gonna be bad. This is gonna be interesting. Okay. I bite asleep on a stereo. I'm not gonna counterspell this which is crazy, but he saved. And it's possible he could have, uh, it would have ended when he took damage. So we could have got worked out of it. Where are you going? I thought you'd be working around in a circle around person to person, honestly. Um, Blight on me could kill me. So I will have to counterspell that one. Did you like use this person yet? No? Okay. Oh, staring. Okay, this is so <laughs> oh, eBay. I can't take any actions, and I used a potion to make sure I could take actions. I'll bonus action you. I miss this. Motherfucker. I have advantage because of something. Underdog's bravery? I don't know what that is. I don't know what underdog's bravery is, but I love it. Oh, this is so bad. Okay, let's do it. Okay, good hit. Um,
Oi, velho. This is so rough. I'm gonna take an opportunity attack from the bat so that I can get on the other side of this fucker. And, uh, and hopefully. Can I bolster? I can. I'm gonna try and keep Marcus up with a rally. Can't even catch my I can't believe I can't do anything. This sucks. God, this sucks. So many of you, Moonbeam is not doing enough here. hit both of you with this. Is that worth it? This guy's weak. I feel like I'm just playing like small fry. Like I'm picking small fry to, uh, to fight here. Okay, we killed the bat. Lovely. <laughs> we killed a bat. Fantastic. Love it. Okay. Um... That's my action, which unfortunately sucks. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and use something to... Uh, I'm gonna use a bonus action, gain resistance to necrotic damage. Because it feels smart. This... Maybe we'll maybe we'll make our way out of it, but um I I don't know. I don't know. This right now is the part of the initiative that goes well for us. Then it's so many people. Can I attack? I'm nauseous. I fucking hate my life. If I don't take damage, then I lose my rage too. I have one rage. Can I move out of the range or something? Does that work? Is nauseous because... Of proximity? It says one turn remaining. Still can't do anything. God damn it. My rage ended. I guess I should have tried to move again. That sucks. I leveled up though? Because I did damage with my, uh, my cape. Carlax nausea. Sorry, Shadow Hearts nauseated, I should say. Cutting words that just to make sure you that a heart takes less damage. God, this is bad. There can only be okay. There's only so many. Oh my lord. Asterian has 23 health. Shit. I have no idea what to attack first. It's like, do I get Chatter Teeth, who's focusing on Eye Bite, which I know is a very powerful spell. I use it myself. What did it, what did you try and use it on this time? Carlax is asleep. Probably Chatter Teeth. Probably Chatter Teeth that we try and kill. But after that, it's these Gur Hunters and their nausea. Oh, fuck. I was trying to examine. Uh, but I don't know. Werewolves and bats might be the least, uh, least dangerous thing, but... I saw a comment the other day. I, I don't know if it's true yet. I'm going to try reloading. I have the examine bug again. I saw a comment the other day, which I thought was really interesting. Uh, and I've been paying attention to it ever since. Um, which was... 
that maybe the examine bug is happening whenever I try to examine something while the like take a reaction screen has popped up. Um, I do have that screen up a lot and I do try and examine stuff a lot. Uh, so maybe I I'm trying not to examine when that screen is up to see if that helps. I don't know if I did that time or not, but um, we'll reload it real quick. That way I can examine. So for instance, you, ghastly fume, nauseates all creatures around it. But then that nausea lasts for another turn, even if they get out of the uh, area, which sucks. Um, however, it doesn't last forever. I currently have two actions again. That's nice. That's great. Can I cast Arabella's uh, fucking thingy? Because I would like to. Um, I'm not going to have the chance. Shadow Heart's fuck art. Carlac's fucking asleep. Do we Cloud of Daggers Carlac to get her up? We could do like five people right here if we Cloud of Daggers right here. First off, will I have to move to cast it? I don't know. If I cast it like right here. If I cast it right there, five people, including Carlac. Remove by taking damage. Sorry, Carlac, I got to do this to you. If it has to be like pixel perfect right there. Perfect. Get on up. I have no idea what level I just cast that at. Uh, hopefully it wasn't super high. Uh, all right. Perfect. Uh, God damn it, this sucks. That's one action. I'm concentrating, so I can't. I have no spell slots over level one. Oh Christ. Um, I'm also out of Bardics. I have one. <laughs> Woo! I have one. Uh, luck point left. Sorry. Uh, okay. Probably vicious mockery somebody, and then as an action, and then heal someone as a bonus action. I don't know. Also frighten someone. Sixty-five percent chance to hit on chatter teeth. Is this a concentration spell? It's not. I will absolutely do that. Perfect. Frightened, concentration broken, which is fantastic. And then uh, I will actually drink a potion because I can't chuck a potion with... Uh, with a bonus action. Cool. Good turn on you. I have an extra bonus action for some reason. Is it the thing that I, uh... Underdog's Bravery is for my gloves. That's cool. Advantage on melee attack rolls while surrounded by two or more foes, which is fantastic. Uh... Additional bonus action because of the Helmet of Grit. That's right. Hell yeah. I knew I had heard something about that. Extra bonus action, which is cool. I can heal here. Can't target an undead with the heal, but still. Can hit that. Uh... Hit him. Big hit. 30, 29 points of damage. Uh, perfect. Can I... Can't heal off this fucker. If I heal here, I'm going to get an attack. So that sucks. However, I can bonus action. Disengage. Get me out of here. Get me the fuck absolutely out of here. Uh, can I make it all the way over here? No, I cannot. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I'm going to heal right here. Perfect. Uh, healed a bit. Not a ton. And now I'm nauseous. Oh, well. Get over here. Thing has actually already used its, uh, its reaction. 
We can get all the way over here. Okay. Are these people naked? I just realized that. Uh, Shadowheart's turn. Oh my god, this is so yikes. Um. <laughs> no action, because I am in nauseous. Okay, love it. Is Moonbeam still up? I lost concentration on it. Okay. Healing Asterion. Second level. Take the temp HP. That's the big thing. And then that's my turn. All shield. Okay. Cloud of daggers and an opportunity attack is nice. Loosen. Okay. Rage ended, which sucks. I'm about to drink this uh, elixir of universal resistance and just... Uh, we'll do it when we need more HP. Uh, for now... Who to kill? Probably this bitch, right? Passives. We have it toggled on. A normal attack... 60% chance to hit. We'll do Reckless to make sure that we hit. Man, I love this game. Game is fun. Game is very fun. Third, 29 damage. One more. Perfect. Die. Get the fuck out of here. Um, I'm going to bonus attack for 29 damage. It's chill. They have nine... That's my whole turn. Okay, we can do this. It's just hard when you only have four turns and some of the people are asleep and some of the people are nauseous. It's like, things aren't good, you know? Bite, uh, weakening infection, disadvantage. That's honestly okay. I'm not going to use my last luck roll. That luck roll's staying for something safe. Yeah, they're naked for sure. Um, cloud of daggers. Parallax, 29 HP. It's not good. People are dying, but Carlax at 7 HP, and I think might die to a uh, cloud of daggers, which sucks. Uh, if that's the case, uh, let's. Oh, I can't break concentration in the middle of someone else's turn. Marcus is getting ganged up on here. There's five bats. Where are these bats coming from? Wait a second. Actually, where are the bats coming from? Uh, break concentration so you don't get hit. You have 7 HP. Fuck me. Are these bats appearing out of nowhere? Uh, Marcus is lethargic, so we're going to have nothing there. Uh, Asterion, can you kill this bitch, please? No action. Nauseated. Okay. I can drink a potion with a bonus action. We should have picked a bigger potion. And I can run. These stinking clouds suck. Can I move here? I'm going to try moving. I think my shield is technically still up. Uh, maybe not. I have Blade Ward because of the heal. So we're fine. Uh, we're going to get out of here a little bit. Come back over here. Okay, this turn's gonna be pretty useless for me. From Marcus's POV, I'm gonna have to spend Shadowheart's turn healing, probably. Although. Is it time to bring out a big gun here? Where is Kazador even at? Over here. What did you do last turn, my dude? Anything? I didn't see what you did. Uh, okay. If I use Shadow Hearts bonus action, sorry, action to throw a potion 
of Supreme Healing at Karlak. That'll be 60 HP plus Temp HP. I can use Karlax. Guys? Use Carlax bonus action to take a potion. What the fuck just happened? Oh my god. Alright, whatever. Um I'm gonna second it level healing word Darian. We still have some really high level spells from Shadowheart as soon as she can get over there. But I'm gonna try and keep people up for action economy reasons. Okay. Marcus is fucked over here. Uh I rolled a 19, that's gonna paralyze me. We'll re-roll it. That's my last luck point. Soldier, I need your help. Should have taken the fucking potion. Po Should have taken the potion. If it was me, if it was me, I'd have let the potion hit me. I don't know what you did to not let the potion hit you, but that's what I'd have done. I don't exactly understand what happened here, Carlac. Can I run over here? Incoming. <laughs> the bat attacks me. That's fine. We got to kill these bitches. Dead. Now, I think you got to go in further. But you also should heal. Say bye-bye. Okay. This bat died, and I have no idea how. I don't know what I did. I did something fine. I can hit again. I'm going to heal instead. I'm going to be safe here. We're going to pull this off. It's going to be a fucking miracle when we do. Marcus has never looked better. Somehow he still has temp HP. He's surrounded by people. Oh, Carlax down. Okay. I have frost for how much damage? 37. Or did you cast it at a higher level? It was a nat 20. You nat 20 critical. You critical hit. Asterion just did 30 damage to Kazador. Kazador, what are you doing? If it was Kazador's turn, we're gonna we're gonna do just fine. If it was Kazador's turn, that means it's our turn now. Um, okay. Uh, healing word, Karlak. Get on up. I think this is the perfect location for a cleave. Check this shit out. How many of you shits can I hit with one cleave? Three? Looks like three. Goodbye, my friends. Good cleave. All right, Astarian. Uh, I think maybe... I was thinking Chatter Teeth, honestly. Why can't I... Why can't I... Hmm. If I hide? Subtle approach. Shouldn't this be sneak attack? It wasn't, which I don't understand, but... Oh, because I used Sneak Attack on my reaction. That's what it is. Kazador, I did so much damage on my reaction. I'm finally figuring it out. I used Sneak Attack because I used it on my reaction. Cool. You it together. I'm, I'm learning how to play D&D. Uh, okay. There's two of them here. Do you want to kill them? great if you would uh but i don't want to use your action here let's just run from him fuck it uh we need to kill this guy um let's do like a uh what's the right call here the battlefield is going our direction so we're gonna be fine um oh my god i just realized we've been streaming for or playing for an hour level three guiding bolt will do 
You're weak to bludgeoning, meaning I forgot that I should have sent uh, Karlak after you. I can send Karlak after you on the next turn uh, if we can kill this guy. Um, what's our call? Do we want... Uh, Oh, my, yeah, the normal suspects are Guardian of Faith, which is a little weird because it's a huge battlefield. No real choke points. Uh, we could do Spirit Guardians, but that means I'm going to have to run all the way over here. It'll take care of the bat problem, that's for sure. Um, I could cast Spirit Guardians and run here. That's a fine attack, I think. Uh, we could try uh, a Guiding Bolt from a distance. Um, this guy's got 74 HP. Uh, we've already cast Moonbeam, so probably not great to bring it back. The other suspects are Flame Strike, but no one's close enough together. Uh, let's see. Dominate Person. I don't think that's going to work on any of these people. Most of them are sort of... We could Polymorph. Polymorph has a 60% chance to work against, uh, against this guy. Um, I don't think it's important. I think we're going to try Spirit Guardians. Let's do Radiant. Takes care of these guys, which is fantastic. And then allow me to run all the way over to here. Does that hit? That hits. Saved against Stinking Cloud, which is good. Um, so it is a safe. Okay. Cool. Uh, good action. Healing word. I should have healing worded you before. I don't know if I can hit you here. I can, but it's a level three. So I don't want to do that. I'm going to leave it there. No bonus action. We're going to win this. It's going to be just fine. Hazador can't do that much. Uh, you have no action. So I'm just going to have you drink a potion. Because you can't run over to the people. Tactical. Unless. Yeah, I'm going to have you drink a potion. Um, okay. Okay. Cool. Now it has disadvantage. Now it's at least threatened, I should say. I think we win this fight, whether or not we kill these people. I was really thinking... I really thought it was clever to kill uh, the sacrificial lambs, but... Where are these fucking bats coming from? Is that what you're doing with your turn? Is that what you're doing? No? Main hand attack? Okay. Shield, get fucked, Kazar. Oh, the next one hit me for 43! That's too many. That's too many damages. 43 is a lot. Um. Starion's down. Wow. 29 necrotic damage. It's because of the whole thing, the ritual. So it might still be smart to take these guys down, and, and we probably will need to. But I, I really thought that was, like, priority one. And I don't know that it was priority one. Okay. Um, where'd these fucking bats go? Where are they? They're just spawning, like, around? They're just spawning around. Okay. Spirit Guardians will help take care of them. We need to kill this guy. Do we have less stinking clouds? Or something? I don't know. I thought the clouds would go away. I think we're just going to hit him. 11 damage. That's fine. Attacks from these bats. That's fine. Cool. Uh, meanwhile, I have spells I can use to heal people. Let's get a Starion up. Let's have some Starion at least has a double bonus action, meaning we can uh, take a potion and run, which is me means it was really smart of me to do the heal. Uh, let's get all together here. Let's get all in the same place out of the stinking cloud. Yes. 
Big hit. Okay. Where did Chatterteeth go? Is Chatterteeth dead? Chatterteeth's all the way over here. Okay. Um. Okay, I think we're just gonna be sipping potions. We're just sipping drinks tonight. Sipping drinks the rest of the day. Oh, I should have moved because uh, I have spirit guardians. I didn't move. I was thinking I would move, but I accidentally just hit the button like automatically. Oh well. It'll be fun. This should be bludgeoning damage. Dead quickly. Love it. Uh, cool. That done. Uh, let's get over to Marcus. Um, Close ranks. Okay, good hit. Uh, bonus action that I can't do anything with. Hazardor is still going to be a problem, but if we get this last ghoul killed, that would be fantastic. Marcus has 4 HP and is paralyzed. Fuck. That means it'll be crit, right? All crits? Yep. Marcus might be per purple, uh, permanent dead here. Come to my spear guardians. I dare you. Okay, Marcus is down. My ascension is inevitable, as is your demise. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the amount of them. Uh... Why? Oh, because I am... I have disadvantage because I have... Uh... Okay, we can, we can rogue this very, very smartly here. Intelligently. I have disadvantage because I'm threatened. However, I can disengage. Uh, I will get advantage because of uh, another reason. I don't. I don't need dis. Or sorry, I don't need advantage from hiding. Wait, what are you? What are you talking about? There we go. There we go. I have it from Undead Bane apparently. Big hit. 12 HP. Cool. Done. Okay. 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 Shadowheart, move forward two steps. Goodbye, everybody. Love it. Move forward some more steps. Goodbye, everybody. Love it. <laughs> what a turn. <laughs> Spirit Guardians is so good. I think I will use my action to help up Marcus, honestly. Uh, Cool. Then from there, I think I can actually still... No, I can't. Uh, I think I, I think shit. I think I'll stay here. If I'm somewhat close to Marcus, uh, Spirit Guardians might help. All right, we can do this. There's so few combatants on the field right now. So few. Catterteeth is dead. You're basically dead. Casador. How do I not have advantage against this person? Oh, I do. Okay. 58% chance to hit. Feels like it should be higher, well, right? Well, Look what we have here. Oh my god. The ritual helps anyone. If you stand in the spot, you get help from anyone. Okay, that's interesting. Didn't know that. We're going to take one of these out. Just because I think it's the right call. Rather than try and attack Kazador with his ability to fly in and out, heal in and out. Oh, maybe that wasn't the right call. Or like his 2 HP. All right, we can do this, though. We have so many potions. I think we're all gonna group up over here. Uh, what path lies before me? I have s s no action because I was just downed. Okay, that's why. We're using so many big potions right now to make this happen. Hungry for the slaughter. Starian's hungry for the slaughter. Can I? 
Sneak attack this. 15 is not as many as I would have liked. Uh, little potion drink. Run up here. I can actually run right here and benefit from this ritual. Oh my god, there's light on the floor. What are the light on the grounds for? Oh! Does Cazador have fewer sources if we stand in the spots? This fight is really cool. Cazador has four ritual sources right now because we're standing in two of the spots and we got Asterion broken. Okay, dope. Guess I can make all my other people stand in spots too. Got to press on. I don't know. I don't know if it's helping or not, but I think it's making this ritual less uh in the middle here less helpful. Um Can I run closer and do damage? It doesn't do damage. Damn it. Alright, well. Uh can't hit anybody. <laughs> what did I move over here for? I missed. Fuck. I can't even heal Carlac. -like. I'm so far away. That was a waste of Shadowheart's turn, but it's going to be all right. How am I missing? I don't understand. AC of 18, but they're just sitting there. They have resistance to all forces, too, so that does not help. Okay, I did not realize that. I think we maybe just need to kill Kazador. We'll make it a little complicated, but we'll get there in the end. This is going to be a long ep episode, by the way. I uh, hope you don't mind. Um... I have, I cannot use a spell because I have truly one spell left uh, that I'm saving for a, uh, whereas I have advantage because there is sacrificial lamb. Oh, I should have toggled off. Two damage. I should have toggled off uh, Carlax passive. I understand. 15 damage, okay. Kazador is up to 40 uh, temp HP uh, right now. Um, yeah, we should run over and help. Onward. We can just do a normal uh, attack here. See what happens. Okay, we'll turn off this and then we'll just normal attack. Uh, 84% chance to do a little damage and I still missed. And attack. I believe in you, Carlac. You can do this. Oh, lightning is probably going to be a problem, right? Yeah, I should just go kill him. Uh, but we're so close to killing a couple people, and I want to see what at least one of these dying does, you know? God, that fucked me up. This call lightning is, uh, Over here. is a bitch. Uh, let's try a vicious mockery on Kazuko. You that didn't work. run out of here a little bit. Uh, in turn. Asterion. Good damage, Asterion. Perfect. I'll hide just because I can. Uh, Shadowheart, you should 
now that we have these uh, spells, you should do like a level three guiding bolt against this guy. Missed. Damn it. All right. Okay. Can we kill it? Dead. Asterion yelled, no, what have you done? I thought I was doing the right thing. My bad. No, what have you done? Okay. Well, in that case, we'll go attack Kazador. <laughs> Good hit. Um... My bad, I thought I was doing something good here. Still has 50 temp HP. Still a lot of temp HP. That's gonna kill Marcus, yep. Okay, ouch. We should quick save now. The fight is going really well, so if something bad happens, like if one of us gets kicked off a chasm, we should... Uh, that would be bad. Um, okay. So, are you telling me we don't? They're temporarily hostile, but I thought we were going for it. You're saying no, Asterion? All right. Can I sneak attack this? Yes. Critical hit. Perfect. Concentration broken on call lightning. That's fantastic. Uh, okay. Then we'll hide again. I just unhit. Okay. We'll run over. Kill them. Help you up. Uh, and then I guess from here, we'll try another guiding bolt. Um, I can't do that because I don't have an action. probably run further over so I can hit him again. Aye, aye. Reckless. Did some damage. Just attacking this ball. Uh, okay. Hazard still is all temp HP. Holy shit. 13 out of 50. You've just killed Marcus again. 13 out of 50. We're going to keep an eye on this. Thirty. So now you're down. Now you're down to 191. Perfect. Just like old times. Uh, hi, Marcus. Come on up. Marcus has had a, a very up and down day. That's my action, unfortunately. I'm gonna drink a big old potion because I'm fucking weak. Okay, on your turn, I wanna see what happens here. Cool fucker. Okay. We're down to 160 in turn. There's the 20 heal. Call lightning. Love it. Now you're running. Not cool. I feel like we should maybe get up in your face because that actually might help. I think maybe we bonus action dash. Let's go. Get up to you and cause uh, some... Yeah, there we're chilling. Okay, staring with a big play. Marcus is down. I'm gonna do an insane thing here. And uh, healing word you at a fourth level. Take two. So that I can also use my action, hopefully. Heading there. And get further away from you. Can I see it from here? Oh, I can't. Damn it. 
We'll run. Okay, um... Come let's come attack. Show him who you are. Okay. 116, 98. Dang. Unfortunately, I think I need to call it an episode right here. Been going for long enough, and I don't have the time to record another episode for tomorrow if I don't keep go uh, if I don't stop right now. So thanks so much for watching. We're in the middle of the shit. And we're gonna get him, and we're this close to getting him, but uh we'll do that in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching. Uh sorry that I need to pause, but I need to be a good time manager. Uh so I'm gonna pause there. I'll see you tomorrow for another episode. Until then, have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.